Hi, welcome to Stone Def Effects. This video will show you how to correctly add your Noise Reaper or any other noise gate with a loop function to your pedal board. Your board may be different, but generally your guitar feeds into your distortions and overdrives first, modulations like chorus, tremolo and flanger next, followed by delays and reverbs at the end of the chain. Unwanted hiss, noise and feedback is usually caused by high gain distortions, fuzz and drives, so this is the area that we're going to loop into the Noise Reaper, leaving everything that follows out of the loop. So, here we have your Noise Reaper, and you want to take the input cable from the first distortion pedal in your chain, and put it into the guitar input of the Noise Reaper. This is where we'll start the loop. So connect the loop output of the noise gate into the input of the first distortion pedal on your chain. Then, add a cable from the output of the last noisy pedal you want to include within the noise gate loop, and connect it to the loop input of the noise reaper. At this stage, you've now created the noise gate loop, and every pedal within that loop will be gated by the noise reaper. Next, you simply connect your noise gate output to the first pedal outside of your noise gate loop and your new pedal board chain is complete. Finally, you'll need to play and adjust the noise gate threshold so that your sustain isn't impacted by the gate. The Noise Reaper's gate threshold point is usually found somewhere between 10 and 12 o'clock on the dial. To summarise, you have your guitar feed into the Noise Reaper. From there, you've looped all your noisy pedals back into the noise gate, and from here, back into the rest of your pedal board chain. All your unwanted noise is now being gated. You should now find you've got cleaner tones, crystal clear delays and reverb, and absolutely zero unwanted hiss and noise. Have a listen to this before and after. <laughs> 